my name is Mordecai and welcome to my first tutorial video. Uh, today we're gonna do uh, start the basics of graffiti. Let me organize myself right here, put the pens. If you don't know what pens to use, I recommend this pens. You can check it on my blog at Mordecai's.com or just go to my blog Mordecai's.com slash blog. This is some of the you know pens that you guys can use. This is a brush, Pikmin. Uh, remember the brand is Pikmin. It's one of my favorite ones. And this is a Pikmin Graphic 2. Uh, let me see if I can focus. This is this really nice pen. And this other one is a permanent permanent lead pen. This is one of my favorite ones and probably the one we're gonna use today. And this is just a normal, uh, normal pencil, a uh, small thin line. Let me see if I can focus. Yeah, these ones are pretty good pen. You can use any pens. Uh, we're just gonna start first. We need to think about where we're gonna start our designs. I'm gonna start right in the middle, right here in the top area. What I'm gonna do is my name. I'm just gonna start with a, with the top area of the G. Um, because I like to make the top area of the G pretty big. This is good to do the graffiti. Don't worry about your edges. Always try to think about what you're gonna do. Uh, remember, you can you can uh, do mistakes, but since I'm using a pen, I can really easy fix it. We're gonna do the bottom part right here real quick. If you notice, I try to make the straight lines as possible. You can obviously make mistakes. It happens. The good thing about doing it with a pen is that you have uh, you know a base and you can erase this base. Uh, after that, we're gonna use the pigment pen or the pen pen to define the lines. Right now, what I'm trying to do right here on the first part, it's just doing what it comes to my mind, right? Because I cannot really tell you what graffiti you should do. This is the graffiti that comes in your mind first. Fix in my pen. Every time before doing a next line or before doing a, a line, I make like a really slight line. So I know what looks better. Have you noticed I'm doing it right here? I did a slight line, I didn't like it, it was too fat, and then I fixed it. Every time I do a line, I just think about what the next line going to be. And if it looks ugly, I can just erase it. Now obviously, it doesn't really happen when you're doing a graffiti on the wall. Normally what you do on the wall is that you paint over the new mistakes. Meaning yeah, the paint is so fresh, so good, that when you do a uh, mistake, you just paint over the mistake that you have and this is just basically so I'm just gonna um, screw down go fast from here uh, and finish my graffiti uh, something that I do not like is how to make O's or oh, not O's or rows circles so it's always good to learn how to do circles right now here I'm measuring how how big is gonna be the, the graffiti and I think it was about four inches uh, reason why I want to do that because I don't want to go too small, too big. I'm trying to make here the circle. I hate making circles, but you learn from this. You also learn from how wide it is. That's really important to know how wide it is. Uh, remember, once you get used to doing this, you don't even need a rule. You just do it automatically. You will just line something that comes in your mind, and that's all you're doing. I recommend to start with your, you know, uh, initials from your name and learn how to do them every time and time. That's how you can start. Uh, we're just gonna go far, uh, fast forward right here. I'm just gonna paint over now. I'm just gonna overline on top of the lines. The reason you wanna do this so after that you can paint your graffiti, uh, makes it nice. In this part right here, what I recommend is to go really, really, really straight. To go straight. Not trying to not make mistakes. If you go overwrite one of the lines, that's fine. Just make sure you have it straight. That's that's the whole main point right here to have them straight if you notice I do a back and forward line try not to do that try not to do that but uh, straight lines try not to come back when you make 
come back you make the line thicker you don't want to do that but like right here i just i just did it thicker but i needed to make it thicker right there let's keep for going forward uh let me show you all what it looks like when it's done When you think you're, um, when you think is, uh, you're done, just uh, let's erase everything. I let it dry a little bit. The last part you did. Let me just erase right here everything. <laughs> Voila! If you like it, uh, we're gonna do some little designs. We're gonna. This is the little corner. This is corners you need to fix. I'm gonna fix this little part. There's many ways we can fix this part. Like I said, that's because I did overlined. So I'm gonna make another overline. I just make a look at the form, little design part on my on my part to make it look nice. Oops, I make a mistake right here. Uh, we can fix it. The good thing about doing graffiti is there's always a margin to error. So don't ever you know feel like you're making errors. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is gonna add some extra par into the graffiti to make it look nice, you know. Uh, I'm gonna make this triangle over the, the whole graffiti, and after that, I'm gonna do some lines on the bottom. Just gonna keep following for you guys. So, it, and where we go, that's the first bar. Um, I did a little, you know, a little few extra lines in the bottom. I'm gonna show you real quick. And if you have any questions, anything like that, just go to my website, moredecas.com, and and let me know what you think. Thank you. Thank you for watching.